and hello welcome everyone so today uh last i mean last video we actually went through some of the integral solution uh, based on the control volume analysis uh, today i uh, just want to talk about the other way you can get integral solution and the last video was very long 40 minutes mm -hmm. but that, that actually describes the procedure of how you do the integral solution for the energy balance now i want to consider the same energy balance again uh, namely this uh, boundary layer energy balance equation but this time we are going to actually do integration so i like to call this the hardcore integral solution because you take the you take the um let me say you you take this uh, energy balance uh, boundary layer equation and you actually integrate it across your y domain okay so i've uh, listed some steps that we are going to do first when we have this uh, integral about uh, this boundary layer differential equation we're going to put u and v back into the differential here i'm going to show you that then uh, using the continuity equation we are going to make some terms disappear to get something then after that we are actually going to do some integration across the whole y domain or, or at least up to the boundary layer then insert some boundary conditions um, and notice later you will you'll need to apply Leibniz integral rule and then after that you're gonna uh, get some other steps done okay but basically these are the out the steps we outline we take this equation we change it a little bit we integrate it across y and we apply Leibniz rule so this these are the these are the methods we use to uh, integrate to to do the integrals integral solution okay so you will find this in textbooks like uh, from Bijan or if, if you look online and you actually find people integrating across the whole y domain and uh, you find that integral solution uh, that to be how they derive the integral solution uh, this is the hardcore method I like to call it because you are actually integrating so um, without further ado let's start okay so the first step is to put y and u and v back into the differential the d by dx and d by dy using the product rule so what's the product rule okay d by dx uh, for example ut equals to what uh, d by dx partial by partial x of u okay u outside first and then t inside then we'll reverse that order All right, T and U. All right. Next, we will have the same thing for the V and T. Not just U and T, but V and T. And we have a uh, differential by Y this time. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to change all this, yes. So, then we're going to substitute expressions for this and this back in here. We make this the subject. Alright. We make this the subject. same so uh, I'm just shifting around the terms so that you can get the correct subtraction all right okay so I make this center term D I'm gonna make this this center term D. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make the center term D. The uh, yeah, we're gonna make the center term the subject. Okay, subs back in. All right. 
We're going to paste it twice, and now of course we we'll substitute both of these back in. Not that difficult. Yeah, problem is now there are extra there are extra terms coming up. Yeah, the problem is there are extra terms coming up, and what are you going to do with them? Okay. What you're gonna do with these extra terms? Okay, so it's going to compile, and there you go. You have these extra terms: t, del u, del x, t, del v, del y. All right. So I'm going to condense them into one term. And I want you to. We are going to factorize out the t. And what do you know? One very familiar term pops up. Okay. See? Del u, del u, del x, del v, del y. Okay. If you consider the continuity equation, adding these two terms out will always give you zero. It's no problem. These terms are actually, um, you can actually just get rid of them all together. That's why you can move it into the differential. Okay. All right. So now that we have these equations, we start to integrate it across uh, y in the boundary layer. So we'll just integrate all these equations with respect to y. So integrate from 0 to, okay, I'm not going to say the boundary layer yet. I'm just going to say some generic y value. But we do integrate from 0 to some generic y value. So I could just call it capital Y. So that's what you will get in textbook sometimes. This integration from 0 to some generic y value. Okay. So two of the integrals will be very easy to deal with. Of course, we assume alpha is averaged. Yeah, we can assume alpha is averaged, so we take that out of the integral. And this this uh, this integral will be very easy to sort out. See, it's just vt at zero and vt at y. Okay. Uh, so let's let's replace the center integral first. Vt at zero or Vt at y minus Vt at zero. Vt at some value y minus Vt Vt evaluated at zero. Alright. Next thing of course uh, we can bring alpha out. Okay. We'll, we'll bring alpha out and this this part also we can integrate the temperature gradient so not not that difficult okay the the y integrals so we can we will we will do the same trick okay so we it, we say we want to do the uh, temperature gradient okay Partial t partial y evaluated at y minus partial t partial y evaluated at zero. And the whole thing you will multiply by alpha. Okay. So now um of course, uh, we can apply boundary conditions, but uh, wait first. We'll do that later. Let's let's uh, leave it as it is, as more of a general form. Of course, we uh, we actually have uh, these things evaluated at zero, but uh, yeah, we can like leave leave the rest for like, later. Okay, the rest will be done later. Uh, the boundary conditions, I mean. 
Now notice there's a partial derivative with respect to x. So we'll need to use this uh, Leibniz rule. So as you can see, we have the integral from 0 to y, del by del x, ut dy. Okay, we can actually do, we cannot actually do anything about, we can't integrate it directly until we apply Leibniz's rule, which is to switch the order of integration and der uh, derivatives. So we actually want to switch this derivative out. We want del by del x to come out and then um, we can integrate the inside okay, fairly uh, easily. Okay, so and then that will actually uh, come to become one of our very important terms we use for um, yeah, we, that will become one of our terms that we that we need to use to derive our integral solution out. Okay, so what's Leibniz's rule? Let's see how much time I have remaining. Okay, still got plenty of time. Uh, so what's this uh, integral rule over here? So what's uh let let's see if you go to Wikipedia and search for Leibniz rule, you will actually consider this integral f x y. Well, in, in, in Wikipedia, they put fxt, but I just changed all the t's to y's because uh, we are actually dealing with y over here. So if you integrate from y1 equals to some function of x and y2 equals to some function of x, okay, um, from fxy, the, uh, some function of, f of x and y, which u and t are of course functions of x and y, you would uh, then get this, okay, d by dx integral of y1 equals to ax. So y1 here will equal to 0, so it's not really a function of x anyhow. But y2 may be a function of x, because y2 eventually will want to change this big y to delta t, which is the thermal boundary layer. That definitely is a function of x, and we'll need to uh, think about that. Think about that. Mm. So uh, let, let's see, there will be f x, okay, f evaluated at some value x, which is ut evaluated at x, uh, y equals to bx, which is y equals to y, okay, d by dx bx, minus, minus uh, all right, instead of me narrating things out, let, let, let's just substitute it. I think that's a, a little bit easier. Okay, so we will apply it to this integral here. Okay, so we let f x y equals to u t, cause u the product of u t is actually equals to uh, a function of x and y. That should be what we are thinking of here. All right. So if we were to just substitute ut into all of this thing over here. So uh, this is just copy and paste, right? Just copy and paste. So ut evaluated at x and y. Okay. Then everywhere we find f, we will just substitute in ut. Okay. So this is just copying and pasting into Leibniz's rule. Okay. So this is just nothing but copying and pasting. So everywhere we find f, we just copy and paste ut. Now the ax and bx is still pretty um, abstract, but let's let's uh, substitute in y one equals to zero, y two equals to uh, y, this big y that we see here. So we're just going to substitute that in. Okay, y1 equals to 0, that, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, y2 equals to some y value. Okay. So we're going to do that. So fortunately, d by dx of 0 is just 0, it's a constant. 
So everywhere we see bx, we're just going to substitute this y value. And that's it. This is how we supply like uh, we apply Leibniz's rule. Okay, and uh, nice good thing for us, one of these things will actually disappear. Okay, uh, so let's let's take out the, the Y tools because that's kind of distracting. Okay. Okay, now what, what do we have? Okay. We have this this thing in our integral, so we can make this the subject and we substitute this out. So we have this in our integral, we make this term the subject. Okay, let's make that term the subject. The rightmost term, which is this one. So this is how you probably uh, switch using Leibniz's rule. This is how you switch the order of integrals. Okay. Alright, now uh, we can put both of these back into the main equation. Okay. So let's uh, substitute this thing back. Then we have a uh, Explicit, like, uh, how do you say? Explicit um, derivative in terms of x. So you d by dx a. Yeah, you d by dx this. Okay, then you have this this term here, then this term here, this term here, all of this together. Okay. Now before we continue, uh we will need to uh think about getting the v velocity. So this is not w, this should be v. We need to substitute out the y velocity because v over here is not very convenient for us. See this V over here? You can see this V over here? V over here is uh, kind of in the way. We don't know what V is exactly. So uh, we, want our, we want our equation in terms of U and V. And of course, we, we have this Yx, which is going to be our boundary layer thickness. That's going to be yet another unknown. So some of these things, we'll need to try and substitute them out. So. Uh, we consider the y, the v velocity, which is the y velocity, by integrating the continuity equation. So remember the continuity equation. And this is equal to zero. Now, what we need to do is again, we apply. Uh, we apply the integrals, integrate with respect to y. Okay, we integrate this with respect to y, and we try to apply Leibniz rule if we need to. So, we will just uh, integrate this so that we can get our expression for v velocity. Integrate from 0 to y dy integrate from 0 to y dy because you integrate 0 you will still get 0 no matter what 
Okay, you integrate zero within the limits, you'll still get zero. Okay. So, uh, what do we have? We will have this integral here. Okay, on the right hand side, you will have uh, v evaluated at y minus v evaluated at zero. Okay. Of course, you will see the no slip condition kind of just makes that part disappear as well. Okay. Uh, but what I want you to see is this bit over here. Okay. Um, this will help you to substitute out this v at y. Okay. This will help you to substitute out this v at y. Okay. Uh, So v at y, v evaluated at y equals to v evaluated at 0 minus this integral here. And again, this, this, kind, of, uh, this kind of takes the same form as our Leibniz's rule like we were applying Leibniz's rule before okay we were applying Leibniz's rule before over here so I'm going to do some kind of a shortcut okay yeah? some kind of a shortcut okay so we, we actually have f equals to ut before so uh, okay considered like Nitz's rule before using f equals to ut okay now consider f equals to just u that means we take the t out okay so we just want to switch the integrals around okay f equals to u of x and y Right. So we'll just take out the temperature. All right, nothing else should change. So yeah, I'm only going to do this. Okay, so integrate from 0 to y, del by del x of u dy equals to del by del x, integral from 0 to y of u, minus u evaluated at x, y, and y, uh, d by dx of y, x. Okay, I'm going to substitute this thing wholesale into our equation here. So, this is what our v at the... Uh, v at uh, x and y is all right so let's let's uh, substitute wholesale let's see how much time okay i'm at 23 minutes so i'll stop for now uh, i think i don't want to overrun to time too much so uh next video i'll continue where we left off hopefully didn't make any careless mistakes but Again, if I make careless mistakes, just leave it in the comments. Let everyone know. We are all here to learn. Uh, right. I, I see a typo already. Yeah, this one is looking a bit weird. Okay, so this V evaluator is 0. The underscore should come after the straight line thingy. But other than that, uh, more or less it looks okay. Okay, so so these things must be substituted, uh, must be substituted in. Okay, so anyway, before before I do, uh, before I do anything else, I want to quickly multiply in the minus sign so that uh, don't make any other careless mistakes in future. <laughs> All right, there you go. 
Yeah, I think I'll stop for now. So yeah, we'll continue this in the next time. Hopefully, substituting in this Vy into, uh, into our energy equation will allow some terms to be cancelled out. Yeah, I think they will be cancelled out, some of them. Okay, so thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.